All right guys, in this video I am going to be installing smoothers, TL smoothers on the X, Y, and Z. I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube if they work or they don't work. And half of them are just guys who plug one into the X, one into the Z, one into the Y, one into the X, whatever. You know, I mean, nobody really cares about the extruder, um, me either, so I'm not going to do that. I mean, it's the extruder. It's not really going bang, 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 you know, throwing the machine around. So I figure, you know, X, Y, and Z should be good. And that's what I'm going to do in this video. So let's get started. Alright guys, are you ready? So today we're going to be installing smoothers onto the longer LK1. But first I am going to do a benchy. And I'm doing it in this kind of charcoal -y gray. So we should be able to see all of the imperfections in it. And see if the smoothers make a difference. So I've got everything's good, the bed's leveled, so everything should be like ideal conditions for this print. And I'm not going to change anything for the next print other than the smoothers. So let's see how this goes. Should have plenty of filament for both benches. So everything should be exactly the same other than the smoothers. Let's... <laughs> I mean, most all the details turned out really nice. But, we'll see how the next one turns out. Like I said, I'm not changing anything. Just gonna do the next one. All right, guys and gals. So, we're gonna give this a shot. So, I got the good ones with um, the eight diodes in them. So hopefully they are good. So we're going to give this a shot. I'm glad they're smaller than I thought they were. So I think we're going to be able to fit them in there. And I've never taken this apart, so I will show you guys inside of it once I get it taken apart. Uh, right now it looks like it's just uh, some Allen keys on the outside, and then hopefully the top lifts off. 
um, we'll give it a good dust and clean it out while we're working on it. So let's get to it. All right, so we're in. This is what it looks like inside the longer LK1. That's pretty cool. And hopefully we can get these smoothers installed. Ah, I believe it's back here. Yep. And they're even marked for us. What does that one say? Uh, bear with me here. A little work. Can't get it to rotate. Ah, here we are. So yeah, there's my Z and stuff. Can you see in there? E mount. Okay. So yeah, basically we're just gonna unplug it. Plug one in and um it looks like they're gonna fit right here too against this wall. So I'm gonna go ahead and use some double-sided sticky tape and tape them just right back here. And I'll show you what it looks like when that is done. All right, so my double-sided sticky tape is a little thin to stick past uh, these little guys. So I'm gonna give these guys a little bit of a trim. Oh yeah, that's gonna sit good. If I can focus on that. There you go. It's kinda blurry, my bad. But that should definitely work. All right. And then I just went ahead and unplugged the power, so that works. Easier to work on it that way. Okay. Job done. I replaced the zip ties, everything's neat. There is this little uh, nub sticking out. Where is it? My finger's right there. So I kind of had to do pyramid style on there to get them all to line up good. But uh, there's plenty of cable. I'm, You know, you can mess with it and put them kind of however you want. Uh, and that's how I did it. They're all in there. Double-sided sticky tape down. There is lots of airflow in this machine. I love that. So it should stay cool. And they've got lots of little uh, heat sinks on everything. I like that. So the inside of this machine is pretty simple. So that's really cool. So in, even if uh, the screen goes out, um, definitely replaceable. Super easy. I'm excited. Uh, let's turn this on and see if it works or if I got them on backwards. I put them all in the, in the same way. There's a J1 in there So on the ones I got. So I plugged the wires from this machine right into the J1s. And then on the other side, I plugged it into the motherboard. So see if that works. Moment of truth. Are you ready? I'm ready. Here we go. Oh, I killed it. Just kidding. Oh my god, I can't believe I forgot. I forgot to plug the power supply in. Holy crap. Alright. <laughs> Hang on. Alright, now moment of truth. We got lights. We got lights. Okay, everything's good. Um, let's just let's go right into it. It says cold. What the heck is up with that? It's never said that before. Weird. It's never had those lights before. I wonder what that is. Now they're gone. Okay, so it's not cold. Weird. A normal heat temperature is detected. Uh oh. Well, let's hit preheat, see what it does. Alright, let's kill it. All right, apparently I got in a super big rush. I did not plug in those two things either, so. <laughs> now let's do this. <sighs> Blowing off the bed, boom, no more abnormal heat temperatures. Okay, so, uh, let's just go right into the files here. SD card error. <gasps> there we go. Oh my God, dude, focus, what is your deal? So we need the benchy open. Yes. 
Boom. Heating up. All right, I'll come back when this is hot. All right. Okie dokie. Here we go. She's moving. Nothing seems broken. Guess we're going to test her out here. Do have a brim on, so it's like a three brim or something like that. I was hoping this would quiet it down too. I don't know. The only one I didn't put one on was the extruder. I figured I wouldn't need one on that. Well, it seems to be printing fine, so um. I guess we'll just let this bad boy run, huh? See what happens. the Benchy Showdown. Benchy Showdown. So this is our first one. Standard. Smoothers, right? Yep, smoothers. I mean, honestly, it looks about the same to me. I mean, seriously. So then I like snugged up everything and made sure everything was good. I, the brim's still on this one. And uh Yeah. Still about the same. Hold on. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, honestly, that is grainier. Than this one. Looking at it now through a 4K camera. I know I'm only uploading uploading in 1080p, but looking at it through the 4K camera, that one does look grainier. And that that's the test print. This is before I changed anything right here. So yeah, everyone else is smoother than that. So, I mean, it's less grainy. I'll definitely give it that. It is less grainy for some reason. You know, I mean, that could be anything, but... This one did turn out pretty good, though. I don't know. I got some weird line around this one. That's weird. I'll have to retest that one. But, like, the nose is so rounded. That looks so good. I mean, like versus this nose. This nose actually has like some bumps in it. Uh, oh my gosh, come on, focus. See how it kind of squares off on the nose? 
and spots. This one does not. Let's focus. Let's go. Yeah, see, that one's like so round on the nose. But yeah, this line showed up out of nowhere. What is that? Look at that. There's a couple grains there, too. I don't know. It's not, it didn't hurt anything, that's for sure. Um. And it will make your printer quieter, supposedly. So, I mean, if it's not hurting anything, it was eight bucks. So, I mean, I guess it's worth the time. It's not going to, like, change your printing life or anything like that. It's definitely something you don't need to, like, hurry up and go get. But, I mean, if you want to get one, go for it. But it's definitely not going to change your life. So, I mean, you could definitely get this quality print just dialing in your printer really nice so i'm gonna say is it worth it um if you don't have anything else to buy for your printer definitely worth it might as well just get it but if you you know if you're still working on your printer just print some benchies until you get them right you know and then after that give it a shot because like i'm not seeing too much of a difference here so, so that's my two cents. Uh, I'm sure I'm going to throw some notifications up and stuff. Make sure you guys please subscribe and like if you want to see any more of this. Teardowns of 3D printers and whatnot. I appreciate it. Otherwise, I'm not going to post any more videos. So, please subscribe and like. Um, videos ain't easy to make. Um, keep on tooting. LOL. Now I have a little benchy army, so that's kind of cool. <laughs> Alright guys, uh, it was fun. Peace out, bye.